Welcome to week one of world history. And I'm going to start with the weekly lesson plans, just explaining some of the everyday items uh, I have in my expectations. And then I'm also going to introduce the Aztec and Maya project for the week. I will try to do one or two recordings a week, um, not a ton of stuff. Okay. And uh, first of all, I want to welcome you guys back to uh, distance learning, back to school. And our hope as educators is that is, this is a smooth transition for you and that we hopefully educate you uh, while we're shut down. So first of all, here are the weekly lesson plans. They are already shared with you on the classroom. And uh, week one is below. So day one, uh, I already shared a video on the research paper. You can take a look at that. Uh, but it's a pretty simple questionnaire that you need to fill out for day one. And every day for my check-in, um, the state requires us to do a daily check-in. Uh, I want you guys to watch CNN 10 and write down two news items from that like we do every day in class. And if you can't find CNN 10 or it's not working for that day, just write down two news items. And then question of the day, of the day uh, every day there will be a question. Day one question of the day, what has been your favorite and least favorite part of the shutdown? Um, I have five kids at home and each one of them is dealing with the shutdown differently. Some it's been positive, some not so positive. Um, but it's, it's just definitely been interesting. All right, so I want to dive into the project for the rest of the week. Um, if you'll notice in the weekly lesson plans, there is a link to the project. It's due Friday. Um, and I'm just going to go right to that. It's the Aztec Maya project. And um, each person will create a Google presentation on Google Slides on one of the topics listed below. Your job will be to teach the class about your project. You need to become the expert. You can choose Aztec or Maya to do your project on. Guidelines, you need 10 to 15 slides. Must have a link to one website. Must have a video. Uh, limit your video to two, two minutes. However, if you have a bigger video, say a 12 minute video, you want me to watch two minutes of it, that's fine, that will work. Every slide needs to have a picture map or graph uh, that you can get from the internet. And the resources for the project. I have three separate resources available for you. If you like videos, there is a Engineering the Empire video on Aztecs located here, on Mayans located here. Uh, whichever one you choose, I encourage you to take a look at that. Uh, the textbook, Topic 4.1, is all about Aztecs and Mayas. And then internet research. Okay, Those are the three resources you'll be using. How will it be graded? You can read through this. Um, I try to give you as much information to look for uh, to do a better job with the project. So cover the rise of the civilization. How and when did, it, did they come to power? And it's very different for Mayans and Aztecs, okay? Uh, one was earlier, one was later. One was more violent than the other. Follow the civilization. What caused them to decline and where are they now? And this also gets interesting. Uh, one of them is very much uh, a mystery of how they declined. One of them, it's not at all a mystery how they declined. The achievements. What makes this civilization great? What did they do that has an impact today? Both of these, whether they're Aztecs or Mayas, have a huge impact to this day. And then distinguishing characteristics, things like their culture, uh, religion, daily life, agriculture, architecture, trade, war, etc. What else you can find? Okay, it's well organized. It's clear and concise. Then the presentation document. Uh, listed below. I am not going to have you record a presentation. I just want your Google uh, Slides presentation shared with me by Friday, either on Aztecs or Mayas. I want to make this as simple as possible. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, and being around that topic, rather than record another video, I am actually going to go to my world history syllabus for you so you can take a look at that as well. Okay, so the world history distance learning syllabus is located here. It's already shared on the classroom. Some of you have already watched it or looked at it, sorry. Um, I just want you to know the number one way to contact me is through Gmail, through Google Mail. Um, but we'll also use Google Classroom. You can call my school, school phone. I should be at school most of the day. Okay. Um, availability, it says 745 to 345 Monday through Friday. I uh, just wanted to let you know, I know a lot of you will be probably working in the evenings, whether you're babysitting children at home, going to a job, have other classes to take care of. Uh, I'll try to answer stuff in the evenings as well, but no guarantees there. Daily interaction, I mentioned that, CNN 10, and doing, uh, answering a question of the day. You'll see the schedule. I'm going to try to get through uh, the research paper, the Aztecs and Mayas, Medieval Europe, and the Renaissance and Reformation during this month that we're off. 
Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, if you'll notice below, it says, all of this is fluid and subject to change as things around us change. Be patient and ask questions. And then it also says, see weekly lesson plans for specific information for the week on homework, tests, videos, daily questions, etc." Thank you very much. Uh, good luck this first week, and please ask questions as needed.